Hi, I'm Margaret Martin at Miller Guide, and today I'm here to talk about one of my favorite things, which is something that helps bones. And the topic today is on vitamin K2 specifically. I was recently listening to a podcast, and featured on the podcast was Dr. Goodman, who was primarily talking about heart health because he is a lipidologist, a specialized cardiologist out of New York. And he actually, in his podcast, was explaining the importance of K2, not just for the heart and the blood vessels, but for our bones. And I was like, wow, really? Because I had so often heard about vitamin K and the importance of K in bone health, but I never understood it. So one of the things that he explained was that vitamin K's role is to, on a simplistic way, keep the calcium that is important in our diet out of our blood vessels and in our skeleton. And so the way in which it does that is that we have a protein called osteocalcin that is floating around in our bloodstream and it's really important um, in bone building and it needs calcium to help build bone but it needs a byproduct to help that calcium and that byproduct, it's not really a byproduct, I guess it's a cofactor, it's, it's a helper in the calcium so that the calcium can bind to the osteocalcin so that it can build our bone, but that helper is vitamin K. And so it's like all of a sudden, like, well, that so makes sense in terms of studies where people are taking lots of calcium, but they never looked at how much K they were taking, and the calcium was coating their arteries, and so everybody was concerned about how much calcium everybody's getting, and not looking at all the other essential nutrients in our diet. So you might be wondering, where do we get vitamin K? So vitamin K comes in a lot of wonderful foods that we already recommend for bones, kale and spinach and green um, uh, leafy vegetables such as Chinese cabbages, all these things that are already you know, um, very great in terms of alkalinity. Um, it also is present in soy and olive oils, some fish and eggs. So um, you, know, you might wanna do the math one day and figure out how much K you're getting on a regular basis in your diet. And if you feel like you're not getting enough K, you might be wondering even how much you should be taking. So the recommendation by Dr. Goodman for um, postmenopausal women is in the range of 180 micrograms per day. So if you are not getting that level in your diet, you might uh, consider supplementing. So then the next question is, what type of K do I supplement with? Because there are many types of K on the market. So in the, the most bioavailable appears to be, or beneficial, um, is K2. And when it comes to K2, there's even sort of a division as to what, what type of K2. There's an MK4 and MK7. And it appears that MK4 has been used as uh, the, the type of vitamin K in many studies, but that MK7 is you know, just one step better in that it appears to have a longer half-life from MK4. So I think either one would be a very beneficial addition to um, your bone health. And so, um, word of caution, um, one is, and I'm not sure about the MK7 in terms of people who have a soy allergy because MK7 is derived from fermented soya. Um, so it's bacteria that, that comes from fermented soya. And the um, the other word of caution is for individuals who are on anticoagulants. So it's not that K is negative for someone who's an anticoagulant, even though K is um, very essential for blood clotting. It's more that it's important that you're on a, on a steady state of K. So if you're started on anticoagulant therapy, and you're already on a supplement, make sure you speak to your doctor, but as long as you're maintaining that level of K throughout your anticoagulant course, um, then it actually seems to actually enhance the Coumadin or whatever anticoagulant medication you happen to be given. As with all supplements um, that you're considering to add into your diet, you should speak with your pharmacist or your physician about adding the K2. And so I hope that this um, information on K2 gives you one more piece to your puzzle in making sure that you have optimum bone health. Thanks for tuning in.